Hey guys, today we are going to be working on a party panda cake covered in white chocolate ganache. Firstly, I have three five inch cakes that I'm just going to trim the outer caramelization off. Cutting this off will ensure I have a gap between my cake and my five inch drum. Cut each cake through the center and lay them out so you have six layers. This is sugar syrup. It's equal parts sugar and water boiled together in a pan until the sugar has dissolved. Then I let it cool and pop it in my sprinkle bottle, which I will leave linked below. Add this to all the layers. This is just to help keep the cakes moist over the time we are working on it. Now stick your first layer onto your five inch drum with a little ganache. You can see there is a gap between the cake and the board. You don't want any cake overhanging it. This gap will be filled with white chocolate ganache. Fill and stack your cakes with fillings of your choice. Here I'm using jam and vanilla buttercream. Now give the whole thing a rough coating of white chocolate ganache. If you want to see how I make this, I will leave the tutorial linked in the description box below. All we are doing here is sealing the cake in and I'm using a scraper. Not to smooth it out yet, it's just to take off any ganache overhanging the cake drum. Now you just want to leave this to firm up a little bit. The second layer is going on now. This is the one that we are going to smooth. Pile on your ganache until it's level or comes out past your cake drum. I'm going to be using my trusty Profroster. As you can see, I accidentally modified mine. I placed it in the dishwasher and the top blade fell down right to the bottom and hit the heating element. Luckily, the only bit that smooths the cake is these two straight inner edges, so my little melted piece doesn't affect its use. I love mine so much, I bought a second one, just in case this happens again. There are a lot of fakes out there, so I will link to a genuine one. I also have a more in-depth tutorial on using the Profroster, which again, I will leave linked below. The base of your Profroster will hit your cake drum, which you can use as a guide to get it nice and round and with straight sides. Even just after one swipe, you can see it's already looking neater. Just fill these holes and crevices with more white ganache. Then just go around the whole thing again, filling any little holes as you go and adding more ganache to the top until the top blade then starts taking some off. And we're done. You can take more time to smooth yours out, but it's such a quick way to get straight sides and a flat top. Now I've stuck the cake to a large drum using ganache and I'm covering it in hot pink paste using the toilet seat method. You know exactly where you can find a tutorial for that by now. Now I'm just going to put my white chocolate ganache into three separate bowls. First, I'm making pink with fractal gel colors. Just squeeze them in and mix it. The more you add, the more intense your color will be. Next up is yellow. And lastly, blue gel. This does make a nice blue, but I'm aiming for more of a teal color. So I'm just adding a small touch of lime green. Now we want to bring our cake back in and using either a spatula or knife, cover the base of the drum with blotches of color and swipe them upwards. I added all the yellow bits on first and then went back in between with the teal. As you get more confident, you can pull the strokes even higher. It just depends on the look you're going for. Lastly, I'm using the pink. I haven't let each color set. I've just merged them all together. Now for some super quick yet super cute toppers. Here I'm using a plastic toy panda which I've decorated. There is a full tutorial which I will leave linked below featuring all various types of plastic animals with different decorations. It's all part of a cake topper series I'm working on. I'm just simply sticking him on top of the cake with a little blob of ganache. 
He's the perfect size for a five inch cake. Now to tie all the colors in together, I've made a cute little pom pom garland. Again, this is also a part of the cake topper series and I'll leave this linked below. Super quick, but super effective. Just push this in at an angle behind the panda and arrange the pom poms. I do love how fast a cake comes together with these pieces. One final step is to paint black splodges all over the cake with a metallic black paint. This is just to match the panda's hat. And we're done. A full cake in ganache with no sugar paste in sight. Keep your eyes peeled for the cake topper series coming soon. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave me a comment below and tell me what animal you would have on your cake. Thanks guys, see you next week.